In this room tutorial, we're going to be looking at how we can create a sense of space and depth in our mix by pushing things further back in the mix using a couple different techniques. What we're going to be doing with this technique is essentially tricking the brain into thinking something might be further away from us than it actually is. But how do we do that? By making things sound more like this. Than like this. Before we tackle this, let's think, what would make somebody sound further away? There's three main things that distinguish when somebody is further away from us than they are closer to us. The first reason is that when somebody is further away from us, their voice doesn't sound as clear because their voice has to travel to us and it could lose some of those higher frequencies. What we're going to do is use an EQ to roll off some of the high end of the instruments so that it tricks the brain into thinking that something is further away than it actually is. We have a drum loop here and we have shakers. Together, the shakers are pretty loud and prominent. If we wanted to put them further back in the mix without doing anything else, we could just roll off a little bit of the high end. Immediately, just by taking off a little bit of that high end, it fits better in the mix. It fits a little bit closer to those drums, and it's not so prominent and not so in your face. Number two, reverberations. The further somebody is away from you, the more chances they have to have their voice reflect off different surfaces before it gets to your ears. This creates reverb and it creates echoes that give us a sense of distance from somebody. So if we add just a little bit of reverb onto our pad here, for example, we can make it sound a little bit further back in the mix and not so up front before, after. It takes away a bit of the aggressiveness of the sound and it makes it feel a little bit further back in the mix. Combining the EQ with the reverb, we can put it even further back in the mix. And the third technique is a very simple one. It's just volume. The further you reduce something in volume in the mix, the further back in the mix it will sound because it's not as prominent and it's not in your face. When somebody is further away from you, the volume of their voice wouldn't be as loud as if they were saying the same thing, the same volume right in front of you. Combining all three of these can create a much bigger sense of depth in your mix. Before. And after. 